Well, this weekend, get ready to discover how a lump of clay can transform into a stunning piece of art. We have Olivia King from the Art Studio, Inc. in studio with us today to talk about the Gumbo Clay Fest where top ceramists will showcase their skills. So this has nothing to do with like the food gumbo, huh? No, it actually has to do with <laughs> gumbo clay, which Got is the, uh, the kind of clay that's common in the ground right around this area. So what makes the Gumbo Clay Fest a must-see or must-visit event for people? Um, it's really special because we have a lot of uh, ceramic artists that are coming from all across the country to come visit and show off their skills. So there's a huge variety of different uh, types of artwork that they're making and different techniques that they're using. And it's a really great opportunity to get to talk to artists that have had different um, education and experiences um, showing their art all around the country and get to uh, see what it's like to be a ceramic artist. Is this different from like uh, pottery when people learn how to do that or is it kind of in the same family? Yeah, there will be pottery there. Okay. Um, they're doing so so many different kinds of techniques. They're hand building, they're, uh, last year they did 3D printing with mm -hmm. ceramics. They're doing uh, throwing on the wheel like you might have seen. Um, there's just such a variety of things that you can do with this material that yeah. it's amazing to see what all they can make with it. Now, will uh, attendees be able to get some hands-on experience or is it just kind of watching the different things that you can do? There will be some hands-on opportunities. Okay. On uh, Saturday from 1 to 4, we're going to have an opportunity for everybody to get their hands dirty. So pop in at any time. It's just a brief experience to get your hands on the material and see what the clay feels like. I know you mentioned Saturday, but we already have the graphic up. So can you tell us yes. the full, uh, like every date and the times and if it costs and all that? Yes, it's absolutely free, okay. open to everybody, great for children and families um, and students. And um, it starts on Thursday with a uh, a reception from five to eight. We're going to be serving gumbo at that because you can't call it gumbo clay I fest know, without right. some kind of gumbo. <laughs> and um, then on Friday, we're going to be open from noon to five um, and we're going to have Gemma's Hoagies food truck on site Friday and Saturday. Nice. And there's also going to be a raku demonstration, um, which if you haven't seen it before, it's a Japanese style of firing ceramics that is done uh, with fire and mm -hmm. it's fast and you, it happens right before your eyes. It's very, very cool to watch. So 5 to 6 p.m. that's going to be happening on Friday. And then Saturday again, we're open from noon to 5. Um, with Gemma's Hoagies on site yeah. and just more demonstrations all day. You'll get to see the kilns open, you'll get to see finished pieces, and you'll get to see pieces in process also. Seems like there's so much that you could do that we typically just don't see. Oh yeah. How does the art studio select the artists that will come out and be a part of this? Uh, this is a group of artists that has known each other for many years, decades even, some of them, and have just uh, kept in touch over going to different conferences around the country and visiting each other's colleges mm -hmm. and universities and um, so they just uh, travel around sometimes and do demonstrations so we decided to bring them to Beaumont this yeah. time. Sounds like a fun and uh, a great opportunity to learn something new. Oh, yeah. well, we just want to thank you again for joining us on the show this morning and good luck on the upcoming event. All right, thank you.